on the Mona Lisa. Tomato soup on Van Gogh. Mashed potatoes on Monet. And graffiti on Warhol. These are just some of the attacks that have been made on famous artworks in galleries and museums this year. And they all have one thing in common. They've come from people who say they're climate activists. They're trying to prove that people are more outraged about a piece of art being destroyed than they are about climate change. Let's take a breath. None of these famous pieces have actually been damaged yet. But these actions are designed to get people talking. If there's no planet, there's no art. This is Laura Wills, an artist who creates work about the environment. I'm interested in um, how people connect to nature and some of the themes that I've explored in my work are about food and where it comes from and how um, far it travels and how it should be accessible for everyone. Or plants and threatened plants, uh, animals. I think my favourite part are the Which two one? clips at the front yeah. to hold back the hair. We've met up at a gallery to chat about the recent protests. I think the activists have been successful in getting their message out there. It's drawn attention, they don't want to cause harm, but they feel so passionate about their issues and they so, feel so passionate that things haven't been done and they want to get the word out there. And also maybe they're trying to get attention to people that have a lot of money and which is the small minority at the top and then there's people in other places who don't have food or don't have heating or it's very unfair. It's activism and art intertwined really. It's using the, the value and the prestige that art holds to share a message. If your art was up somewhere and someone decided to make a, a similar point um, and vandalise your art, how would, how would that make you feel? Well, I would hope that if it, the point was about climate change, that I would be working with them to make the same point. Mm -hmm. And I feel like we would collaborate. I'm really um, grateful that people have a lot of courage to do what they do. I think I take that back. I think these are my favourite. Institutions are in a difficult position because their job is to protect these artworks, but also the people that work at these institutions are also worried about climate change. They're caught in a very difficult place. And it's hard because as soon as they say, listen, we condemn these actions, then people will say, well, what's the matter with you? Don't you care about climate change? And that and it becomes unproductive. This is Peter Drew. Now these are your works? Yes. Can you tell me a little bit about them and when you put them up? Well, I put these up a few weeks ago and these are photographs from the National Archive of Australia. They were excluded from being part of Australia and my posters are a way of saying they should be a part of Australia, so. My posters are about politics, but really they're about what it means to belong and belong in Australia. And the way I try to go about that is by questioning the audience, well, what do you think it means to belong? And that way, I hope that I show that I respect their opinion enough rather than just bashing them over the head with what I think they should think. Peter puts his work up in public places. Would you classify the work you do as vandalism? Uh, I guess technically it is. What I do is mostly illegal. Illegal. But I try very hard to find places like this where I think that they will be appreciated. Yeah. Well, this, this is a, a favourite spot of mine, but these posters were actually vandalised with some racist graffiti and I came the next day and, and fixed them up. I think it's very good to be passionate about making the world a better place, but what those activists are doing is really bullying because they're picking on the most vulnerable thing there is. Art is vulnerable. It's a miracle that these works have made their way through the dangers of history. And to pick on them, I think that it shows a real lack of courage when you could be picking on things that are, that are actually causing these problems. Activism is a hard job. It's not something that you do something and then everyone changes their mind all of a sudden. It's, it's about chipping away 
at people's opinions and it, it doesn't always feel good or get you lots and lots of attention and so I think encouraging people and asking questions and showing them a different way of thinking, giving them the power to decide that's what works best. In response to the vandalism, 93 museum directors from around the world signed a statement that says the activists are severely underestimating how fragile the artworks are. But what do you think? The recent like art vandalism attacks have been primarily just for publicity. I think we might be beyond the point now where any publicity is good publicity. I understand why they are protesting, but I think there are definitely better ways that they can go about it. Politicians, they're not going to take us seriously if all that we're doing is defacing random things. They're going to like they're going to brush it off as like as some random teens being teens.